Do you, do you also write any stories or because being a, when you work in TV channels, you're the producer and director? Like, yes, yes. So do you also write any stories or something? I used to. Mm. Uh, right now, I only write emails for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's been the extent of writing. Yeah. But um, uh, to be honest with you, sadly, no. no. Um, not for anything else, but lack of time. Yeah. You know, now I have a little daughter. So between trying to be a mom, running a business and uh, getting things done, I end up pretty much having no time to myself. But I do enjoy watching movies and reading scripts, reading books, reading Facebook, reading anything, <laughs> you know. So, so yeah. uh, with uh, I think Salam Namaste and a couple of movies which you are talking about. So you produced uh, in Australia. So you were Yes, I was the line producer, line producer for Salam Namaste. So Yashraj was the producer mm. and I was the line producer. But we also produced a beautiful documentary uh, last year which is called Raising the Bar, mm. uh, which is about um, a, a group of children and young adults with Down syndrome who go to India mm. and uh, for the World uh, Down Syndrome Day. And over there, they meet their Indian counterparts. And what we have done is we followed the stories of three such um, children and young adults with Down syndrome in Australia and three in India. Okay. So it, it, you know, it follows the great love that the parents have, the challenges, the prejudices. But most of all, it really captures the human spirit. You know, so it's a story of human spirit, and it's a very small but very uplifting documentary. Very good. So are you also planning any further films? Uh films in future? So we have a script uh, which is in script development mm -hmm. um, and we are hoping to uh, be able to announce that sometime end of the year, end of next year mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and um, we have one more documentary idea that we want to do, you sure. know. So I'm hoping that one day um, when our festival is bigger and a bit more robust, uh, we can help uh, the short film competition winners uh, script and plan their own films, if a uh, short film, documentary, feature film, something. So that would be the next um, dream for the film festival. Good, good. Hope so. It will fall in place. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, from Australia. So as you are telling now, you want to promote uh, uh, the p people who are in Australia and you know, want to produce some films and all. What more from the entertainment part you want to you want to take to the world from Australia? Because Australia is the best place, livable city in the world. Melbourne is the best livable city. Your IFFM is one of the part <laughs> in Melbourne. What you want to showcase to the world from Australia? Being in the you know multicultural festival and into entertainment industry world you are in. Um, I, I would, uh, you know, I feel Australian writing is very strong. Okay. Like if you look at all the, all the Australian TV shows and uh, most of the films, the writing is very strong. Mm. So uh, what would really interest me is a lot of, and the humor, the Australian humor is very quirky and dry and it's very unique to Australians. So I would love to do some mul Australian multicultural comedies okay. that are set. Uh, but I, I am... Uh, if I read one more uh, cross-culture love story, My Bollywood Bride, Kan Kari Love or any such films, I'm going to stab myself. But um, something that's a bit more original, a bit more, um, um, uh, a bit more real, real, you know, but at the same time has the slice of life that we all um, are a part of. Right.